Hello everyone, my name is Sonali. Welcome to the channel Success Educate. Today we are going to see the multiple choice question of the lesson Plant Growth and Development. Please watch the previous videos also. Before these, I have uploaded that video and the MCQs related to this topic is given in that video. Now, the remaining MCQ I am going to explain in this video. Let me will see when a plant flowers after a period of low temperature, then the event is called what we call to that event photoperiodism or vernalization or photorespiration or apical dominance. So, the correct answer is vernalization. All these MCQs are very important for the NEET exam also and any objective exam. So, student, please prepare all these MCQs in a proper way. Now, which of the following may not due to crops in spite of exposing them to low temperature? Carrot, barley, cabbage or sugar? What is the correct answer? That is the barley, which is uh, in spite of um, exposing them to low temperature. Now, winter variety of wheat is planted in September, December, March, and July. And the answer is September. Now, winter variety of wheat starts flowering in September. December, March or July and the answer is March. Now, which plant normally does not show winter spring variety? Answer options are wheat, barley, rye, rye and cabbage. Answer is cabbage plant normally does not show in winter and spring variety. Now, Winter variety of wheat is harvested in So, which is the uh, wheat variety harvested in winter? Uh, or where, uh, when it is harvesting? So, in the winter, in the summer, in the mid summer or mid winter? So, answer is mid summer. Now, vernalization delays flowering, seed germination, fruiting, or branching and the answer is flowering it will be delayed how is vernalization beneficial for the plants it helps the plant to flower scantily but still uh, but still give abundant fruit it enables the plant to have sufficient time to reach maturity so that it can utilize the resources available it helps the plant to grow more leaves and make food it allows plant growth in unsuitable condition and how is vernalization beneficial for plants? So it enables the plant to have sufficient time to reach maturity so that it can utilize the resources available. How can phenomenon of vernalization be used in agriculture? So it uh, helps to give one bigger fruits. It helps them to grow taller and produce more wood, subjecting the growing of biennial plant to a cold treatment, stimulate flowering in the second row. And more leaves and hence more starch is produced. The answer is subjecting the growing of a biennial plant to a cold treatment, stimulate flowering giving second crop. Root crops are annuals, biennials, perennials, if merans. Answers are biennials. Now, in biennial plants die after single flowering, two flowering season, more than two flowering season, or getting pathogenic infected. And the answers are two flowering season. In which of the following, uh, flow, following plant, seed will not grow until they expose to low temperature? Polygonum, legumes, nelumbo, or nephia? Answer is polygonum. 
Now, which process is not involved in the development of grain into mature wheat plant? Mitosis, then second one is differentiation of cell, increase in size of cell, and meiosis. Answer is meiosis. Last, the practice of layering the seeds in moist sand and feed is called impaction, scarification, stratification, and all. Answer is stratification. Next one, presence of chemical compounds inhibit the growth in tomato, potato, mango, and polygonum. Answer is tomato. Chemical compound inhibits the growth. That is the tomato. Phytochrome act as a natural anti-transparent is gibberellin acid, abscisic acid, cyanatin or ethylene. Answer is abscisic acid. Natural cytokinin is cyanatin, zeatin, abscisic acid, oxine and answer is C. Now, slow and steady growth takes place in the log phase lag phase, exponential phase, and linear phase. And the answer is lag phase. Now, which one of the following factor influences the flowering in plant? Amount of green pigment, then water in the soil, then photoperiod, and the acidity of the soil. Which of the following factor influences flowering in plant? That is the photoperiod. Leaf abscission, fruit fall, and seed dormancy occur by which phytohormone, oxygen, cytokinin, gibberellin, or abscisic acid? And the answer is abscisic acid. Now, which of the following is not essential for seed germination? Water, temperature, air, light. And the answer is air. Apical dominance is suppression of growth of apical bud by near basilary bud, suppression of growth of apical bud by removal of near basilary bud, suppression of growth of axillary bud by removal of apical bud, and the suppression of growth of near basilary bud by apical bud. And the answer is suppression. So apical dominance is the suppression of growth of near by axillary bud by apical bud. Seed dormancy can be broken by application of abscisic acid, ethylene, oxygen and gibberellin, gibberellin and cytokinin, oxygen and abscisic acid. And the answer is oxygen and gibberellin. Which phytohormone controls hyaluron differentiation? Oxygen, then uh, gibberellic acid, ethylene and abscisic acid. The answer is ethylene. Which of the following is not an influence of oxygen? Apical dominance, parthenocarpy, tropic movement, or bulky? And the answer is bulky. Now, chemical stress hormone is diterpenoid compound, terpenoid compound, which is diterpenoid compound, then terpenoid compound, then adenine substituted compound. And amino acid, and the answer is terpenoid compound. Which one stimulates internodal elongation? Oxygen, cytokinin, gibberellin, or phenol? Answer is gibberellin. Thank you very much, students. Thank you for watching.